going on, everybody? It's your boy Brent. It's your boy CJ. And it's LMR on the ones and twos. It's Taylor. Looking great as ever with the fake ass boys in the hood jersey. I look like I'm Jack, jersey. my fault. Jacket. Brent don't even know how to speak. Fucking English. dumb. I'm my fault. My fault. My fault. I came up. I mean, you can't even say your sentences. Sorry, but. CJ came in correct. You just watched that movie yesterday, and now you' sporting it hard. You've been t- you've been you've been taking compliments left and right. It's like, yeah, I know, I know, he was I've great. Been a, I've been a lifelong fan of Ice Cube. I didn't even read what was on the shirt. Hmm. I said I've been a lifelong fan of Ice Cube. I didn't even read. How you gonna be a lifetime fan and not know probably his top five work? I just haven't seen it. I knew it was. No, that's 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 Cube's top five work. Cube. And she just saw it yesterday. And now you sporing that motherfucker. That's like everyone around here got the poetic justice Tupac shirt. Everyone got that at Walmart. Me too, got the twelve ninety nine John. And everyone's sporing around like, yeah, I was a real Tupac fan. Like, bro, you know three songs. Hail Mary and Dear Mama. That's it. So I'm just trying to act like you really know Tupac. Three or two. And hit him up. <laughs> <laughs> For real, but everyone's and when they, you know what I mean. They put on a shirt and they think they really know an artist. They think they really sporting somebody. They're really connected. They they connected to a biggie. They like they have a biggie shirt on. I've really been popping nip. Uh, oh, that's the huge one. That's the goddamn huge one. Got marathon continues and never listen to him. <laughs> Not once. Fake ass wanna be. Play this shit in junior high. Did you even know about nip before the, the passing? For real? Bro, no, I'm talking, no, 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 not like that. I'm talking about, did you play him like that? My fault. Let me rephrase the question. Come on, bro. Look, he got him hot. <laughs> but, <laughs> why you got him sniffing over there? Right. That don't even sound right. He, you have listened to one tune and one tune only. First banger that came out, him and YG. You just ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Come on. Major throwback. On me. On me. On me. Oh, my God. Oh, hey. On the camera is who? Who's going over there? Yeah, it's a uh, pop, pop, pop. Paulo. Someone's um bags pressed him early. They he thought he was like twenty three. Paulo. Does Paulo look older than twenty three? We gotta put a picture up. But he looked old as shit. He said he said looked like a father. <laughs> this man is the humble age of eighteen, but getting it done every week. Oh, does not look old as hell, bro. Not with them joggers on. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> You going by his wear? His street wear? Easily. If you're wearing joggers, you're under 35? Young cat, bro. He out here in Zoomies fit. Joggers. Slides. He is in that primitive. He is looking hot. He not not ready, bro. He not a father, bro. I didn't even think that, too. He always looked young to me. He act young, but he said he looked older than you feel me. Give him some A6, maybe. (laughs) Blue jeans. Some A6? You see him in some A6? Ew. You don't like the A6? Some A6, maybe. Nah, the, the A6 and the New Balances have came back. They're dad shoes. Depends on which ones you get in the Jelly 3s is cool. Everything from 2017 and up, they've been doing their thing. I don't know. It depends on what you're getting. You wanted the Reebok ugly shits, the, uh, the, the, the Boxy Jones? Don't disrespect me. I want the. You see how you did that? Don't disrespect. Oh, it was the feelers. It was the feelers. Wrong with Reeboks. I don't want the Reebok chunky ass shoes. They look like. They just look like the feelers. They look like they're for the children. Re- Why don't you get the Reebok Classics? You good? You can't. You ain't go sport. I like the feelers. Hey, real quick. I like four kinds of shoes. Real quick, did you back? You know, you know, just something hit me. Did you rock I'm the so Rhino? Agreed. Did you rock the Echo? Were you Echo Limited, dude? Never. I swear. I, I think I was an Echo guy. I swear you had a jacket or two. No. You wore an Echo? It was another nigga no. at that school? At, at in junior high? Bro, you never see me in no Echo, bro. You never wore... Ev- I know one of y'all I wore an Echo LRG back at... G to the max in junior high. Echo? And G-Shocks, huh? Never wore G-Shock. You didn't have a G-Shock neither? No. Wow, LRG. That was about it. I think my hardest fit in junior high was DGK. I was so broke. <laughs> DGK was my hardest fit. <laughs> Threw on that black shirt and I had the DGK backpack to match. Ooh. I ain't never see you in no DGK ass cool. But I always wear the DGK on Fridays because I didn't have a lot of clothes to mix and match. Because when I came from, uh, I was. From second to fifth grade, I was at a charter school, so I just had all polos. 
Then sixth grade, that was my first year to ever just wear switch up some clothes. So I didn't have much. I was wearing three or four fits of the same shit a week. And then junior high, same shit. But I had the, the nice DGK. And I wore that on Friday. Let them know I'm popping out. I might, You might see me. You might not. But you see me at school with the DGK. <laughs> on hard. Holding up the wall. I ain't going to do you. It's Krista doing her thing. You damn near slumped. Blanket and shit. Blanket down. I'm just always cold. I hate being cold. Is anyone sick before we start this podcast? Because the weather's been changing. I've been sick about three or four times already in November. And you talk about me. It's December. No, what you don't do is you don't key on Bruh. your health Kill it. at all. You try to push through everything. That's your problem. Kill it. Bro. And I just try to be three or four times one month. No, 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 no. You be like, you be like, you be like, we'll be chilling in the car. You be like, bro, just some shit happened to me the other day. My just shit just fell out of socket and and I'm just hang there for like three or four minutes. About being sick and we're talking about socket. <laughs> Well, no, 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 we know you're never, you're never sick. I'm talking about you have to get your uh, body right. I always say that. He don't, he don't make no sense when he be talking. What do you mean? First it was health, now it's body. Health, it is your body. It's your shoulder, not your health. Don't you carry that around with you? Shut up, bro. Oh my God. You just talk about being sick and shit. This nigga talk about you got your shoulder right. Well, no, you talk about, you said I talk about you have to get your shit right. And I'm like, yes, Negro, you have to get your shit right. If no one else tells you, I want you to be here long and healthy so fix your shit you didn't even fix your shoulder you're still not done kill it bro. you haven't played football in a year and a half kill get it done it, why is your shoulder still falling out bro don't even want to hear you slipping like a doorknob i love you Nigga, champ <laughs> like a no no what i said was i have when i try to push weights it's you a tendon this I don't want to hear it the only thing I got to really take care of, I got to focus on is wearing glasses. Everything else is straight. I lost all the weight. I don't need, I don't need to get no diabetic check. Diabetic. Uh, diabetic, diabetic check. I don't got to get those blood levels yes. checked. I got myself right. Health is wealth. You feel me? I'm drinking my water. So now all I got to do is just get my shoulder done and my glass. I just wear consistent glasses. I'm straight. Oh, you got a shoulder too, huh? But your shit Killer. falls out, player. <laughs> I don't want you to be under the car and you just, ah! That makes no sense. It falls out. <laughs> Has it not fallen out? No, bro. <laughs> okay, player. You have a minute. Tell me what's, be honest right now. What is really wrong with your shoulder? Who knows, bro? I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Oh. If I knew it was wrong, oh. you fixed. What what problems do you have? That makes sense, brother. What problems do you have that are you willing to share to the public? Don't have to get into great detail. That happens. What happens? Did what type of pain do you ha- have? This. <laughs> I'm looking out for you, G. I just want you to get all that health insurance and do your thing. Niggas got health insurance. Bruh, imagine him holding his first child, slip out, oh, and then got to catch him with the left like Michael oh, did. My. You think it's too close. You think it's that bad, bro? You never know what you got to do on the run. Bench. Bro, you just got attacked at Walmart. Now, I don't want to put this knock on wood. Check this. You with your daughter in hand, and now you got a creeper around the window. Peeping on you at Walmart. He seen you. It's eleven fifty nine. You and your baby trying to. You and your baby. You if you if your daughter anything like you, you gonna want that eleven thirty sweet. So she gonna he gonna try to press you, and you don't want your shoulder to fall out in that time of need. You ain't gonna put your child down. It's all banger. You gonna be at the hip. I ain't putting my child down. You here with it? What you gonna do? We have to throw that jab. You have to switch and put it that jab. And you don't want your shoulder to fall out. Nah, yeah, bro. Man. When you want the best for people, they shoot you down. Fuck it. Well, you, but, but, but real life, Fine. real life, you did get attacked twice this week. Once physically and now over social media, it, it still doesn't stop. <laughs> Why? What? What is it with you, bro? Why do you keep on catching smoke? Attacked, but I don't know who niggas think they is calling me by full government in this bitch. <laughs> You got attacked on Twitter. Like I'm from this bitch. You ain't from the same state. What 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 did the tweet say? 
What is the tweet say? No, because someone quoted something. We can't say his name, but he said, who's the most underrated rapper, underrated rapper in your city? And hometown. Your hometown. His hometown. He didn't say, he didn't say, yo, you, you from there. He said, you were around there and you had buzz. So, CJ, were you rapping at Highland Dog? Were you getting off? Is there something that we don't know about? Were you freestyling? The only freestyle we had was what? That camp. Remember at camp? Did, did it go viral? How do niggas know? You were there, nigga the fuck? I know I was there, but was someone recorded? You had the, you had your little roast. You did your thing. I don't know, bro. You you became a little... a little. Niggas are still chiming? You are you know you know right now you are bigger than your brother. You have the hottest <laughs> you have more hotter buzz than Ron right now. <laughs> flex, 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 King Flex. How does your little brother that don't got a mixtape out that had a 15 second rap battle at football camp get out like that? I'm finna drop, I'm finna drop tape. No, you're not. I, you are not a lyricist. I'm finna drop tape. You are not a lyricist. Take these mics right here. You barely talk as it is now. You a mumble rapper I'm at best. I'm gonna take these mics. <laughs> Who the fuck go listen Three to you? Three minutes is all I need. Three minutes and then I'll not talk for the rest of the day. I asked you to just speak your truth about your shoulder. Who? What the hell are you gonna speak about now? Anything. Niggas, niggas tagging me. Niggas thinking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think niggas really think about you like that? Well, I'm getting tagged out of nowhere. You didn't even get tagged. It was government. That's what's special. Like, what? <laughs> I didn't get tagged. It was just name. He oh, just, he man. put name slapped on you. Like, oh. But at the same time, he does know your presence in the, he knows that. <laughs> Dog, but like. He, you could be one of these people that the, the rap thing didn't really work out for you, but you flipped it and now you're doing a podcast. You got your car shit going on. You, mean, you said the rap thing didn't work out for you. You could be like a Joe Budden. You were hot. Started. You were hot. You had your little, you had your buzz, but now you switch it. Dad James, my shit. Gold all my. One or two oh, slappers, okay. nigga. But are you really gonna come out with something crazy? Some slapping. I'm gonna just wait. And like about ten people here, and I need crazy feedback. Hold on. You want us to hype your shit up? I, what type of no, friends do like you 10 want? Randoms like crap. I'm gonna need ten randoms, crazy all. Oh, bro, slapping. Oh. You want to pay? You want? You want? You want? You want? You want to pay for listeners, dog? Like, oh, we want to hear this shit out. You gonna have your mom listen about ten times and say the feedback was crazy. The streets love it. <laughs> <laughs> they want to hear more of it. They need two. They need another next week. Get I'm dropping single. It's getting first day out. First day out, buzz. Bro, you never <laughs> first day out, bud. You have, you have, you have the gift to gab, but you, right but my nigga, ball. but my nigga, you cannot rap. Don't hate, bro. You can, bro, I, you have the gift to gab, but you, you cannot I, rap. If I really sat down and took the time, made some flows and some bars real quick, bro. It's bad. Go right now. It's bad. No, no, I'm not gonna try to push. It's bad. Just say something on your mind right now, freestyle. Go. Brent. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Brent, you don't even rap. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, I'm not worried. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Lamar. Kill it, bro. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Lamar. Go crazy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Go ahead, bro. Mike is yours, dude. Nah, nigga, you the hottest rapper, nigga. He did not say B. He knows my place. I said if I really took my time. Oh, my fault. You need more time. So, at the end of this podcast, we're going to give you all the time. Hey, you gonna freestyle for us? Okay. You can freestyle, nigga. Why you trying to? Earlier, I ain't gonna. I earlier just fucked up and called Taylor's jacket a jersey. I fucked up. Some the first two or three minutes, I get scared, but now I feel in my game. I can't rap. I know that. I can't. It's not in my. It's not in my repertoire. Hey, does everyone sing or rap by themselves and think they good? Or ever got off a bar that like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. I, I, one time I said something in the shower, I almost slipped. The car was dancing to me. I thought I, I said it like three or four times. I was like, oh, oh, oh. I had to catch myself. I said, let me before I bust my ass say before what you work. Say on the podcast. Nah, I, was, I ain't gonna lie. I was talking about some. I would kill a nigga, steal his bitch. I said something I wouldn't do, but it made me feel hard. You know, say you know how you say you might slide on a nigga, but you never, you, you really won't. 
you know. If it come down to it. If it come down to it, bitch. You, I was talking about, like, I do this every day. Like, this is a nine to five for me. Kill, steal, and rob. <laughs> steal your bitch. And I'm like, I'm in a full committed it relationship. It's a nine to five for anybody in this day and age. I knew I was rapping crazy because I slipped in the shower. I was like, God is telling me something. Let me just, I'm going to have to slip in some dove and some bullshit. Taylor, do you think you can sing? No, not at all. No? No, no vocals? You never, no, you never thought, you just, <laughs> you never, no, nothing ever came off in the car? I'm aware of what I can. You never just mimic like Beyonce and thought you hit the note with her? Never. Krista, ever. Mm. You ever thought you ever could rap? And you, you, you probably thought. I'm a spitter, dog. Let me get in the zone and I'll fucking go. When do you rap more? When you in the shower or you in the car? When I got some hype, nigga. He he rapping in the hype shower. in a beat. He raps in the shower? No. Oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Maybe it's wrong. So I got rap in like a real rap environment. A real rap? Uh, let us go to the studio. I'm going to really feel like I'm a real artist. You have. We have the foam oh, here. You have the mic shit. here. What else do you need? Got, you need right? you need we some Hennessy. We got keyboard. We got instrument. We got keyboards here. Yeah, I got I got you with the uh huh uh huh and Lamar. Uh huh uh huh. I'm giving you I'm giving you everything. You got a keyboard right here. You deflecting. I want to hear that. Shit. All you do is deflect, and I know this. I hear that shit. I'll, I'll take it. Let me get Ron in this bitch. Let me hear disturbing bird calling this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I hate it. Not rapping over that shit. My fault. What do you want more? Something more electronics? I can give you something. Apollo, can you give me a bass? No. All right. Uh, Apollo uh, sleep. Uh, Only one. <laughs> yeah, I, I love, I love. <laughs> no. My man was head on son. <laughs> Stay alive, Apollo. Stay alive. Yeah, Stay alive. Cause. Man. <laughs> well. Let's get into this podcast. <laughs> Male birth control. I'm sorry. You taking it? All right, let me just, let me think about it. Because I thought for real, men being on birth control, I feel like if you can't handle yourself and you have to put it in another man's hands or another doctor's hands, you're wilded. Like, if you have to really snip your balls, if you have to snip, like, the vasectomy, if you got to put an ejection in your shit, if you can't really go to down to Circle K and buy a condom, if you got to go that extreme me- measures to not get your shit off and get pregnant, to get another girl pregnant, you're tripping, bro. I don't know. But now they got the jail. I don't know. I think that's... Can you explain the types of birth control you're talking about? Right. What? Explain the general what, what is that. The male birth control. They saying that... Explain what, what you're talking Yeah, about. what the fuck is this jail, bro? Okay, so down in India, they trying to find a way. They, they, they tried 97 men, and it came out to 99% of them. They put this gel on their jaw and it lowered their sperm count. And so what happens is you put it on... Like lotion? Huh? You like lotion? Like gel. Like from- lather your shit. Mm-hmm. So before you do your deed, you already pre- you already warmed up. You are everyone's happy right now. And then no babies at all. Except for the girl that's probably allergic to the shit in it. That's like putting like, Wow. Why are we putting why are we putting bad shit in the air like that? It had no hormonal dive di- and defects. Nobody was breaking out. Nobody was getting was the uh, testosterone going up and down? Everyone was. Did they use it on just the men, or did they? They used it on just the men, and they saying they were, and then, and then they said after three months of after using the gel, their sperm went back to normal. You using it, brother? I would think about it because, quote unquote, if that would help Taylor. Think about it, because all the shit that girls go through with the IUDs, with the they try to put the band in their arm, and some girls freak the fuck out and damn near stab themselves. I don't even know. I think it'll be a good solution. I think if it I put and put the pressure on me, because then if I don't get no side effects, it'll be the best world for everybody. Who I win. I would never snip. If she told me to actually, hey, you get the vasectomy snip, and maybe later down the road I want kids, and I gotta. 
put it back. You ever seen that on Office? <laughs> sniff, snap, sniff, snap, sniff, snap, sniff, snap. Oh, when he said it like that on The Office, I said, I was crying. From there on out. Snip, snip, snip. With his pain, when he said, snip, snap, sniff, snap, sniff, snap on The Office, I was like, bro, I can never have my junk in another person's hands. I either have a condom or just be with one person for the rest of my life. Cool. And that's what I'm doing. You never, hey, it's just be smart. Cool. Stay with one person all the time. You don't have to worry about shit. Too fucking much. That's real. Yeah. Lost me for real. What? You want to put the gel on your John? Oh no, bro. Would you rather put the condom or the gel? Some icy hot shit, bro. Well, so but what if it's not? It basically works. It's basically <laughs> like works the same shit, way bro. that like f- female birth control works. Hell so yeah. So it's like the progesterone, and it goes on your shoulders, not on your dick. I'm not so. And all it does is decrease oh, the sperm count. The so it's the same. Oh. Thing that girls take on the shoulder. Oh, yeah, it's just you're, instead you're, of taking a pill, it's a transdermal gel. Oh, yeah, you're taking yeah. that. What? <gasps> You Niggas can put that shit on the club on right before the club. Just, hey, guy, I got you. Put it on like sun lotion. <laughs> I got y'all. <laughs> for Vegas, when they rub down your back. Oh, like sunscreen. <laughs> like sunscreen, but like before you go to the hey, beach. Hey, hey, can you get my back? Bro? Can you get my back? I'm about to have a wild one. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, bro, G. You ever ask me to rub some birth cream on your shoulder, bro? <laughs> you not a friend? Get the fuck away rub from me. <laughs> bro, just birth cream on me, dog. You wouldn't do that? I would definitely do that for you. I ain't thinking fuck. nothing about it. Oh. Fuck. You no, wouldn't roll it. You have to do it every day though, not just. I would have sex. Yeah, bro, exactly. I would rub on his back. Oh, it wouldn't even be that crazy. He's like, I can't even reach. It needs to be more in the middle of my spine. Yep. You gotta rub his back every day though. Exactly. Yep. I, I ain't tripping. That's what's up. I ain't tripping. I don't want no kids for him. If he doesn't want kids, I wouldn't do that to him. Yeah. What if it was the? It's this not a big lying. deal. It takes three seconds. Cool. You lying. Done. You would you would be weird about me rubbing your back with some lotion? That ain't weird. Birth cream, bro. You haven't rubbed no man's back with some sun lotion? No, bro. Why so weird no. about that? No. You could you wouldn't do that for me. No. Really? No. How? Hell no. We hugged Hell before. No. Uh, we have crossed. We have crossed. We we stomach about a hug. We we stomach to stomach. Why can't? Why is it weird to show affection? And that's not even affection. You were just rubbing shit on my back, so I won't have a baby later. Appreciate you. I feel like that's not fair. Can't do it. What? Y'all get a gel. That's it. That, that's it. You fucking pussies. You you women are t- women are test dummies. Women yes. Literally get ratcheted open. And have a whole ass IED shoved through their cervix. Oh my god, oh, that sounds so painful. That's exactly what the fuck it is, though, and you know yeah. it. Well, we had the, like I was saying, the snip snap, the Ratchet. vasectomy. I'm hurt. Well, females have that too. That's a say, that's a. What you getting your tooth type? Yeah, what else y'all got? Y'all get gel and I condoms. You can't take a pill every single and day. And condoms. I thought they had a pill. We had, I think, you know, we had, there was, there was, uh, they were doing pills, but. They were, but. Listen to this. There were too many side effects that they couldn't handle. Yeah. Yeah. To stop the trials. Regular side effects like nausea, headaches, mood controls, decreased sex drive, all the normal shit. They didn't like this. That's crazy. You you know, when Taylor told me that, bro, I was like, the government really wants you to fail. That's why. Why would you have birth control? Why would you put the idea of trying to limit someone to have babies? Because all these side effects telling you, just give me, just give me. Well, you putting this in your body, that's really fucking you up in the long run, per se, because you want to have sex with countless partners. Let's just say, let's just, let's just say, well, well, let me just say if they doing it for that reason, not for the for the healthy reasons. Cause I know you said that also there's healthy reasons. Why would you do that? Why why would you want to put something in your body that's gonna hurt you? Like for me, I would never get a vasectomy because the shit that could happen. I'd rather just be natural as fuck. I would never understand why someone would go to the lengths to be like, oh, for for me, I'll if I won't have kids, I'll just get my my shit shot up. Cause if you mess up. If you mess up and you fuck up anyway, your your life is not really forced to be that much different. If we fuck up, there's a person inside of me now that I have to take care of forever. You feel me? I feel you. No, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. And then also, like, birth control is not just... I mean, it isn't just for, for not having babies, but, like, some people have such 
monstrously fucking yeah. painful periods that it's the only way for them to be able to survive during their month. Right, I feel that. But like the ones that I, I remember, I was told, what, what was the bar one that's in the arm? The implant. The imp is that considered the worst one or no? All birth control is different for everybody. You just don't know how bad it's going to be for you until you take it. Bro, I heard these chicks yeah, were. So, so yeah. people, Why the fuck implant, I want that shit? Some people, the implant well, like, is stellar, so awesome, everything's yeah. cool. Some people, it makes them want to die, and they'll cut it out of their arm themselves. I feel like if your if your yeah. girl if your girl's going through all that shit, like for real, just put on a condom. Or just be, or just be smart. Just don't do it. Just hang out. Just hang out. Just hang out if you know just that the out. risk of having sex is gonna have a baby, and you are tr really trying to have it, but you know you don't have the paper watch for it, TV? watch fucking TV. Not everyone's oh, built to have God. sales Disney sex. Plus. Disney Plus is out now, bitch. <laughs> no, you can't even watch Disney Plus alone. You get the fucking. You get the fucking. You really gonna watch Toy Story all the way through? Was Shawty next to you? You can't. She not gonna let you. That's my world. I never finished through a movie. That's my world. Um, <laughs> never, never can put nothing on past ten. I'm getting nagged. You're a liar. A liar. Damn, he hyped. He gassed himself like that. I'm not even gassing myself like that. That's what's going on. All right. Uh, all right. All right. You a calm guy? Huh? You a calm guy? Calm guy. I just like to get through an hour of a show. <laughs> but I understand the optics. Everyone got work early in the morning, so we got to get to it. But I'm like, fuck. I don't want to watch a TV show. Can I get through Purge? I'm not even done through Purge yet. Purge got good, though. Season two. It got through good. And we finished the episode. Thank you. You still haven't seen Breaking Bad, huh? I don't think I can get through Breaking Bad. I'll probably have three kids through college before I see Breaking Bad. Her? Oh, it's touchy-feely. Touchy-feely. It's all love. I love you, though. No Mac. Huh? That's no Mac. What do you mean, no Mac and cheese? Didn't bring no Mac. I didn't hear you on Thanksgiving. Don't you scream. I didn't hear you on Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, my God. I will, I I will, pause, this I will pause this podcast right in the fucking middle. You, <laughs> you said, you said, don't bring up the Mac because you ate all your Mac and cheese. So, I, all right, cool. But I have Mac and cheese in the back. And you already saw what Bag said. We said day of. Thanksgiving? Day of. We said we going. You bring your Mac, I got my. No, we're supposed to do this hit of the. Hit you up day of? Who? MIA. Who? Who'd you hit up? Text Taylor's phone. Like, tell Brit sit his back. Did you say you that? Texted me. You texted me the day before. Like, oh, CJ, you CJ, can come I through. I got pancakes. You, you said come Mac through. Computer. I got pancakes. You said Mac. I thought you meant the computer. This nigga's cryptic as fuck. Ah, so we miscommunication. I did not know. We're baffled. See, look, look, look. He thinks we knew what we were. You and he was talking about. No one knew. I, Matt, no one knew. I, Matt, I computer. Huh? I didn't see it. That's her phone. Matt I don't know. Computer. Matt, I computer. Were you huh? Talking about the update. We were having Matt issues computer, updating huh? his computer. Oh, uh, and I knew about the update, huh? Matt, computer. And we didn't know about the mac and cheese. The world is crazy in this bitch. So we didn't talk about the mac and cheese the day before. I was said, bring the mac and cheese. On the podcast, but if you were trying to clarify, right. if you were, oh fuck you, Bro. fuck you, fuck you, uh, fuck you, I could give you some of that mac and bless your ass. Don't even be, don't hear, didn't hear nothing from you. Is your mac and cheese all the way gone though? Smash. That's what happens when it's that good. Oh no, what is good is my my mom is a yeah. god. She's God's work. She's an angel. So what she did, she made a lot of it and yeah. made sure a lot of families got it. So Gilbert, Mesa, and Apache Junction is all blessed with my mom's mac and cheese because that's where it all blessed. Oh. Uh, Bags just came back from Washington. Uh, my girl picked him up Seven. and she came back into the house and said, I need a blessing. I said, I got you. Yeah. Gave him the mac and cheese and you saw the video. What Seven. happened? Seven. What happened? You saw the smile he on his face. Unfazed. Not good enough. Yeah. Unfazed and looked like someone gave him scripture. He got blessed. You know I got the best mac and daddy cheese. Do you want some after the right. podcast? I It'll be undisclosed. Period. It'll be, it'll be undisclosed. Ice, Max meets. 
Me. Best food. <laughs> no. Player, hey, I player, I got one slice of this sweet potato pie that might have you cross eyed. Right. Don't do me. Don't do potato. me. I got the best sweet potato and you know you eat. We can have that. My mama got that in the back. Brent, I got oh my God, you a liar and a cheat. But here's the biggest thing though: we did not know that like you, you want feast at my crib. Listen, th we did not know that you wanted Mac because she said the Mac the last podcast. No, but we can. That's very fair. With very fair, we have visuals too. That's what makes it better. We'll go back there. Receipts. Receipts. That was just miscommunication, man. Cause I would love no. to pull up on the Mac. No. I asked you to come to breakfast. Why did you not come to breakfast? We had breakfast here. Computer. Where were you here? You could have came for breakfast. I was asleep. That's called sleeping in, waiting for the meals. You slept all the way until 12. Chilled at the crib chilling. We were dead ass chilling. That's fair. That's fair. I can't hold you. You can sleep. I'm not going to permit you. But you could you could have been here. You could have been. You up. You could you could you could have been. I, I hit you. I hit you. He didn't say nothing. You were scared. You weren't talking nothing about that plate. That man. What do you mean? I did not know about this plate was coming. Oh my God! I will flip this room in half. I'll take the L on that. I dead ass that you're talking about a computer. Scared. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what was happening. This Negro said I was scared. He said I was scared to bring my mother's mac and cheese. You think I'm ever scared? And he drove right past. <laughs> My to get to his mama. No, I did not. I did not. I did not get off this. Uh, this I did not get off Santa. Scared. I did not. Uh, you still gotta drive past my exit. Why is it always about you? I was <laughs> focused on mom. Oh, Why you so ugly? <laughs> You're so ugly. You get no Mac. What we did was after the podcast, I know after the podcast, after Thanksgiving, we went home and saw a movie. We went right. We went after my mom's. I went and saw a movie. You seen the movie Knives Out? Knives Out is really good. So good. If y'all like mystery movies, go see Knives Out and a good mystery movie, The Good Liar. Oh, The Good Liar with those old people. What's her name? Uh, Not Marilyn Streep. What's her name? The Lady. I don't know. She been holding it down for years. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to do it because that movie was very good. Uh, it got a 64% of Rotten Tomatoes. Who raised you? Who fucking raised you? But we can get into other shit, man. You want to go talk about NBA Youngboy? Is NBA Youngboy still in your top five? Huh? When was he ever in my top five? You've been a Louisiana... Uh, you, you, you been love Louisiana natives. Why are you sacrificing me for your fan? Oh, excuse me. Helen Marin. When it's I, your boy, bro. NBA Young Boy? It's your boy. So NBA Young Boy was never consistent. I like him off and on. I just don't like him always getting in trouble. That's my personal opinion. But NBA Young Boy. What is it called? I'll look it up. He got into some shit with a girl that he shouldn't be getting, how I would say, his business with. I guess she's rumored with to be with Kyle Kuzma. NBA boy, young boy tried to slide in on her, and he got rejected. But why I'm bringing this topic up is, topic up is how he got rejected. Because it was not on no, no player shit. He could have left. He could have went away, you know, peacefully, being like, ah, cool. You don't want me, whatever. But this nigga went and flipped it and could incriminate himself in the long run, I think. So here it go. So she texts him. Have fun. <laughs> Bro, why why they gotta get there? It's like, hold on. So she texts, what exactly do you want? He'd be like, what do you mean? You, you know what I want. She says, you wanna fuck? He says, obviously. I get like that. Kudos. He's being straight up. I just don't fuck anyone. I'm a relationship type girl. He's like, cool. I ain't just anyone. Better do your research on me. He said, get your Google out. I make money. I do my thing. I don't know who's been dropping my name like that, but I'm not that type of girl. He said, have. And then he said, have fun fucking with lames, though. I know you are. Oh, struck a core. He could have been man enough to just slide because he knows. She just said, do your research on me. He don't have to say nothing else. He knows himself, obviously, but no, he gonna... He ain't even gotta say that. He's like, I know who you are, but I'm not obviously... But I'm not about to sleep with you because you're a rapper. I wasn't raised like that. And then he gives her the thumbs up emoji. And then he said, enjoy them lame-ass athletes. 
still throwing shots. LOL, first of all, they are not lame. He's, and he says, yeah, they definitely lame. Every, all these athletes be dick riding me trying to hang out. Don't you know? So... Then he puts up a little crying face emoji. Niggas lame. Enjoy that, though. You can do whatever around in... No, this is where it gets weird. Enjoy that, though. You ever around in the same place I am, best believe you're going to get kicked out. What? Why are we kicking out people? Why are we doing the unnecessary shit? Why is it... Why, why would you ever get to that point with a girl? If you saw a girl and she rejected you... I would you, never even get... Two responses past what he did, bro. Getting this far, getting getting this. I, I've I'm just, never. I'm just trying to wait and see the end, bro. Okay, okay, I'll keep on going. Best believe you get kicked out. And then she says, "LOL." If we ever in the same place, best believe I'll get it shut down. So that's definitely cap. I'm rich ass nigga gangster. Ain't nobody gonna say shit to me. Know what? And they know what me and all my niggas about. There are two murder charges on my record. LOL. I would cry. You're corny. I would cry if somebody Ooh. said that. You're corny about kicking her out. He got punked at the mall, bro. I don't want to hear shit from NBA. He got punked at the mall? Fuck NBA, bro. When? Man, fuck NBA to the max. Bro. When did NBA young boy get That's punked? Just annoying to read and hear and be a part of. He's a fucking clown. Okay. All he ever did, all he ever done is make some fucking ruckus and some negative impact. Here, I'll, here, here's what I was trying to flip, man. Re, re, rejection happens even at the highest of levels. Bro, should have just been yes or no and cool. Keep it pushing. Why you gotta say do your research? What? Who? You why are you trying to belittle her because you got money, bro? Right. And you thought and <laughs> yeah, I guess money do attract women, but obviously not her. Like I mean, if it do, cool. Let it attract and speak for itself. Why you gotta speak with it with throwing some some sass with it, bro? Obviously, if, if people gotta do your research, and obviously they don't know you. Bro, you I should already have the research done by the by the time they see your ass. Bro, I hate lame ass niggas that take it to the max when a girl don't give them like the time of day. They be screaming at her, be like, "Oh, you bitch, you slut!" This, that, and the third. But then just came up on her two seconds ago, was trying to trying to you feel me get her number because he thought he was looking good now. Looking good, this, that, and the third. Wanna wanna be with her? Ugly, I just wanted to hit. Oh what you ugly! I just wanted to hit. That's a crazy ass line. You saying it all the time. Taylor has. Have you ever been threatened or been made fun of because you rejected a person? She's got ass. Uh, I guess not like directly to my face. I guess probably over like social media, but it doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. But does it? Does it make? Does it? Does it make you laugh? No. No. It's not funny. No, I mean, does it make you laugh like, damn, does it really it had to get to that point? I just am never surprised because I just have low expectations for people. I'm just like, oh, when he's just dumb. On. He putting two murders. My, my thing was like, it's like LOL. Relax. Oh, yeah, he said he What's has. What's the murder charge got to do with uh, so them trying to fuck or talking? Like, we get, why they get so extensive so quick? First, the money didn't impress her. Now you're going to say that you a killer? You really think you're going to impress her now? Bitch, I'm Michael Myers. You better fuck with me. Better fuck with me on the highest of keys. Wait, what? I can shake your life up fast. I'm NBA young boy. I got four kids and I'm barely 20. Herpes on my record. I ain't got nothing settled. Right. Maybe she could. She could. She could have easily slid him like, bro. I know your dick is hot. I know you did not use that birth control. Your shit is ratchet. Four, five, if baby mom. And he has about it. His last baby mama gave him herpes or some shit like that. Bro is hot. I don't even know why he thought he can give like. If he was still getting yeah, pussy, he, I would be shit, blessed. Fat ass not on his head. What is that? Oh, I don't do him. That scratch. I think he I fell upon as a kid. Probably right, right off his bike. You know, you get them ugly scratches on he your face. He got knocked, bro. <laughs> that nigga got dropped on his head. Bro, if I had a disease like that, I would be blessed if anybody would want to fuck me. Never healing again. For real. Again. God damn. Never healing again. Yeah, head. Fuck. <laughs> Are you talking about his head still? In her check. <laughs> I ain't talking hockey. Oh. I'm never healing again. 
Nah, my thing is I can never relate to this. I seen people do this. I got when I got rejected, I'll just cower down. I'll be like, damn, I can't say anything because if I do rent, next time I rent, then she gonna tell some other people, Man, and I can't do nothing. I've got rejected tons of times. You just gotta laugh and just kind of keep it pushing. All I know, I you think... Can, you can have your little attitude about it, but I feel like just don't go too crazy. Just like, that shit is too much. And she let him, and she let him down easy. She didn't... She, yeah, she didn't say... really me. like it was mutual. Like, it was just a yes or no question. It was... It wasn't like she, she said I ain't trying to fuck. I'm a, I'm a relationship girl. Yeah, that was it. Cool. That wasn't like a hard shutdown. Or she wasn't. She didn't say nothing about your mama. That was, yeah. that was very respectful. Yeah, yeah, it was hella look respectful. Me up. Bitch, I know who you are. I don't give a fuck. You for real? What the fuck you mean? Look me up. And girls for real get threatened for just rejecting the dude. It's like get killed. Wow, yeah. To the extent of that, killed. girls get killed. So my my yeah. big thing is like, bro. If you want to learn how to get over rejection, it's going to sound weird. Just try and put yourself out there. And just, first of all, try to get girls that like you. Don't be weird and trying to impress bitches. I like to expect rejection. Ooh, so you have a counter. Have a counter. Oh, it's a breeze. You have to learn how to have a counter. Some people, and this is myself, I never had a counter. Because you, you just got to, it's gif and gabber. But like sometimes you be like, uh, no, nah, I have a boyfriend. No, nah, all right. Walk away, find out she don't have a boyfriend. I'm like, oh damn, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I, I just had to try a little bit harder. She just wanted to see me get. Oh, that's why I tried vicious with you, Taylor. I was like, I know what I like. I can't. You can't reject this. Was I not resistant? Very much so. I, I pressed you. I pressed. Yeah, resistance, persistence, everything. I pressed her in the. Uh, excuse me, in the um, what was it called at lunch line, when we had that little break. I said, "Well, we what you you seeing other people?" You said, "No, well, we we still this." She said, "Yeah, okay." I was late to class and everything. But she's like, where were you at? I was like, checking myself. I had to check my, my thing. I didn't know where she was at. Her head was straight. I'll be damned if I saw you out with somebody else. And then tell me. If I had to see about somebody else. For real? We had a whole day and everything over with a break? For real? Oh, and she couldn't tell me, bro. Lunch line? Bro, I pressed her in lunch line. She didn't see me coming. She was in Mexico. She was, <gasps> I'm like, all right, my fault. But I'm like, what you doing? How we still there? She's like, yeah. You seeing anybody? No. All right, cool. I pressed. I went away. I was persistent. I could have nobody talk to Taylor. Yeah, I feel like rejection is not that serious. I feel like it's more of a entitled thing. Yeah, but you can be. Yeah, I'll, if Taylor rejected like me, I would have fell back. Yes. But hell yeah. You know that everybody money you got. So many people you around man. you. So many people will just say yes to you just because they want to be around you. Do this right. and that for you. Then you're trying to reach the other people that's not really on that yes, yes, yes tip. I want to be around you tip. And then you feel some type of offense. That was, I don't know why Everybody you feel offended. Too good for like a yeah. response. Like, damn, bro. Ooh, yeah. 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 What do you want to say? Me. Celebrity, you know. Yeah. You know, Google, you nigga. We the fuck get the fuck on with all that shit. Or niggas get a hot streak and they get like two or three people in a row and then they get somebody and they'd be like they think they're beneath the last two people they were with they'd be like who the fuck are you like you su you will want to be with me yeah it's like really you. like why the fuck what <laughs> the fuck you mean I gotta google you and this and that I don't know just yeah like yeah that, no no and you, you have to and, 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 the and, and at, the, at the end of the day don't try to like check somebody's words she just probably is not want to be with you because maybe she would want to be with you wants, but it's but it's not the totally right time different. she wants something totally different she probably don't want nobody who already got four kids she probably don't want nobody with a knot on the head <laughs> I don't, I don't want know nobody people, got know all the different that. baby mamas, bro. I don't bruh. know why people can't accept that. They can't. It, they, like, what, bro? We don't want a nigga with herpes, bro. She already know you. Right. Yeah, we don't need a googie. We know you the fucking hell of people, bro. We ain't got a googie to know that. We know you got community so dick. So shit, bro. We got around. community dick. Community? That's what we're calling it? CD? CD? No CD no player. <laughs> CD no player and I will eject in anybody's car he is the epitome of community dick pussy everything he's the epitome of that he's a hoe he a hoe but my thing is like too if you want to stop hearing rejection so much probably my thing is too approach people that is that like you change your approach get to know them try and fit their damn standards without changing yours to the max 
Thank you. Find something in the middle. So at the end of the day, just be don't yourself. be weird and, and don't rock. don't be rock. weird and be respectful to women. Don't be don't be disrespecting women, especially if she gonna let you well, down like why, that why, easy. Why you talk about murder charges on message, bro? Yeah. Is you really is you really on that tip NBA or is you really just a young cat? <laughs> Bro, what do you mean, LOL, I got two charges on murder on my record. Nigga, how is you out here roaming? If he was a real gangster, he would have never said some shit like that. That's what I'm saying, bro. He got, he got his emotion. His emotions got the best of them. I just want to say some shit. Just look tough. Look tough. Look hard. But nigga, when you was in that mall, you had your security guards, you still got punked. I think he's just never been humble. He just probably used, he probably has been, he was on a good, 30 people just Bro, been saying yeah, yes and then he got one he got but everyone but people when they hear that one no they just feel entitled like I've got no's before like not even like saying well girls is just like in anything no's in anything and I feel entitled and I feel like what the fuck I'm supposed to get to with I feel like in a real prison on like a on like a high level it'd be able to not last bro Hell no. No. It's the way, just the way he, he feels, bro. One of them LA, one of them LA prisons, bro. It's bad for bro. He just puts on a front. He'll have another lump on his he head. Running the hey suits about three, six three two forty. It's bad, bro. Hmm. He put the pause. He said MS thirteen. He gonna put the pause on. MS thirteen. He be like push that boy. <laughs> <laughs> Try to talk down. I know he's gonna be standing on some shit. He probably standing on the bench. I hate it. Trying to talk down to Jesus Javier. Mm-hmm. You know Eddie in the back too. If he hits him, I'm swinging it. I hate it. <sighs> uh, you see this millennial tour coming out? What about it? Omarion, Bow Wow, no. Yin Yang, no. Soldier Boy. No. All our all our fan favorites as kids. See, I fuck with it, but I don't want to see Bow Wow. I don't want to see Soldier, and I don't want to see who you say, Omarion. You wouldn't want to see fuck. You don't want to see that dancing. I do not want to see. You don't want to see him moonwalk from from left stage to right. If it ain't Michael. Don't get your ass up there. Don't do it. Or I, I, my Michael thing, my thing is, if I find out Chris Brown is gonna be a special guest. If Chris uh, Reese is out there, uh, we in there. We in there. I ain't um, gonna lie. Them, them three major performances that I do not want to see. So that's a lot of fucking time that's really cutting in, you know? I feel you. Bow Wow, Soldier, Omari? No. You will leave after Omarion? No, I'm leaving before all that shit starts. No. For real? I don't want to see any of that. You! <laughs> in 19? Fuck no. No. What about had enough of being What bad. about Yin Yang? Yeah, Yin Yang. I, I could do that throwback. That's a that's a perfect throwback. Okay, so if you that's had if, if you had to do this millennial tour, if you had to do this real quick, you remember how uh uh Twenty One Savage did that like two thousand throwback Halloween party? Mm-hmm. It was like everyone dressed like you feel me from back then, like in the ATL, long long uh tees, mm-hmm. hats over here. You mm-hmm. feel me? How would you set up this millennium tour? Who's gonna be there? Rappers, rappers and singers, because you always see they're singers. Shit, I'm probably you gotta choose some like people that's at least got three slappers each. Okay, I'm already I already I know, for me I gotta have Cash Money Records, Yin Yang. I would have uh, T Pain, T Pain of course, T I G Z, Sean Kingston, Fat Joe too probably. No 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 no, Ja Rule. Ja Rule's in there. I'll say Ashanti in them. Uh, Shanti, Destiny's Child. Beyonce's not going for that. She don't. She don't. She will not have time. We we can't pay for her budget. That's why like Beyonce would cut. She just got over a hundred and forty million for fucking Netflix. But in that time, she ain't gonna go to this tour. We gotta get people that's realistic. True. Akon. I feel like it'd be hard to get Akon. He probably Africa still trying to power the lights. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Trying to power somebody. Nah, the Millennial Tour will be lit. If they had Chris Brown, that would be a dream concert. Before I die, I have to go see a Chris Brown concert. I ain't gonna. Like Chris Brown been ducked, though. 
What do you mean? He's just been dropping albums after albums after albums. He's been like touring, touring, or in concert like that. He's been he's touring right now. I ain't seen too much. He was out here just a second ago. Just a second ago. Chris Brown is doing his thing. Brissy. Brissy. Chris. Chris. Ha, uh, yeah. Chris Brown tour. I'll look that up right now. Taylor, would you accompany me to uh, a Chris Brown tour? I guess. What the fuck? Why you say it like that? Because why? Chris Breezy got the hit. Stop playing. He just got done. He was just got done. He just got done. He got done in October. Why? You not a Chris Brown fan? You said you used to love, bro. You said you wanted to marry him for like a day. I did when I was like nine. Still, for a day for to real? want to marry somebody, that's forever yeah. in your heart. That's all it was. Give me that. Yeah, she wanted to marry me. He her. regularly beats women. I'm good. Regularly beats women. That's not a fact. It's what are you talking? Your regularly beats women. Where do you see this? He had a. Where do you see this? He had a mutual oh, fight with Rihanna. And she lost. Either way, he felt like it was okay to hit her. You're never okay to hit women. I'll never advocate. But no one should be fighting nobody. People should be hitting people. That's that's they a fact. probably fighting each other up, but you think that Karuchi was holding her out against him? What did Karuchi can be? When they were together? When did Karuchi can be? I'm being dead ass honest. When did Karuchi can be? She has a restraining order on him. Because she... Because he beat her ass. When and where, Taylor? I need to know this. Well, this you're a sympathizer. Let's move on. I'm not a sympathizer. He still bumps our Brent. Cars. You're acting like you didn't know about him beating Rihanna, brother. No, I knew about that, but I was like, damn, is that really dog? And then I found out she punched him first, and then she got livid. And I'm that's not I'm not saying that's the right thing to do. But you're part of that. You're sympathizing though. You understand why. Never. You're uh, you understand why he hit her back. He got so. a little bit. <laughs> I do. Why he, why he I do. Why he screws you though? Why? I don't know this. I'm trying to. They say. They say Na Nia Amy. Is that her real name? I don't know. Oh, Karuchi Taran. Tran. Tran. Taran. Taran. What the fuck? I'll just be making words oh. on the fly. Oh, Taran. Taran. Taran, nigga. <laughs> She's Vietnamese. And she got a Jamaican dub mother. Uh, personal life. What does this have to do with it? When they going to leave? She got granted oh, a, a temporary 100 yard restraining order against Chris Brown. Eventually, was granted five years restraining order against the singer. She began. No, we don't care about uh, Victor Cruz. Why? Get the fuck off, Wiki. I tried, dog. Mm. I didn't know he did this. What That's surprised me heavy with Chris man. Brown was the cocaine and the cigarettes. That hurt me. <laughs> that hurt me. More than him beating <laughs> bitches. <laughs> yeah. More than the him beating bitches. The cocaine surprised you? The cocaine surprised me. He is really tearing himself down. Someone tried to tell me every uh, singer and hard rock star goes to their hard drug phase. Yeah, they do. A lot of them get mixed up in drugs. Cause you partying. Easily. You get you just partying, partying, and just you got the money. And also yeah, you doing shit else, you're like, fuck. And then imagine this, bro. Most of these people are depressed. These are creative people, and usually these people are yeah, you. the cr a little crazy and they are trying to reach a different high or reach or see something different every time. Ah, uh, if they get addicted, they're just human after that. Some of that dolomite blowing hard. Mm-hmm. Jimi Hendrix used to take acid on the on the regular. He used to sl he used to take he used to slit his head and do the. Ah. Uh, cocaine into his blood. Why? Nah, I couldn't do that. I would I would want to try psychedelics just to like for the third eye thing to like open up your third eye. But I can never see myself Bro, overdoing that. What the fuck do you want a third eye for? What do you what do you <laughs> what you trying to accomplish here, bro? The third eye? That's the whole what do you want a third eye for. The reason why I want it, it's like the whole thing of like that's the the thing that you see when you manifest stuff. So opening that helps you see things more clearly and you achieve things. And it helps you, like, if you have mental, like, you deal with depression, you have things blocking that, or you have memories that pop up all the time. In my sim situation, 
I don't know. I just want to clear my head as much as possible so I can do a lot of good things while I'm here. Why the fuck do you need a third eye for that? I don't know. And it's cool. If I have another eye, I might as well open it. I'm trying to unlock something. I'm trying I'm trying to be like a new character. I don't yes, know. Nigga, uh, new character, bro. I'm fucking hurt. Trying to have long hair, new Super Saiyan, open up the third eye, get some abs, get some 22-inch arms, bro. fucking giant-ass legs. Third I'm trying to be a Super is Saiyan. not finna give you no superpowers like Spider-Man getting bit, nigga. I don't know. People that open their third eye are pretty... Pretty different. I don't know. I just want to be a different space. You think them niggas monks? I just want to be a different. I just want to be in a different space mentally and spiritually. Does anybody else before they die? No, I'm not fucking with no third. Eye. Where do you? Where, where do you? Where do you? Sales? You getting? What well, nah? Selling you? Who the fuck is selling you this shit? We do have a third eye. What do you mean? We no third eye, bro. Oh, who the fuck are you? Oh, okay. Before you die, Taylor, do you do you believe that you will see a uh, a god? Uh, I'll see whatever I need to see. I'll see whatever There's I need to see by praying. I'll see him when I die. I'll see whatever I need to see by praying, brother. Anything else is out of the ordinary, bro. It's third eye bullshit. Do you think you what been, what, what color what 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 Jesus, what, what, nigga. what color uh do you think Jesus is when you see him? He's a brother. Whatever I imagine. He's made in your image. No, we're made in his image. Yeah. <laughs> same thing. But it's same same difference. So you're gonna see yourself, you want a little scrub with a mirror reflection, it'll be Jesus. So brother. We'll come out with Beanies. Good, with good stick. With Moses? Moses stick when you greet uh God. You're gonna have a good stick with him. The Why would he have a staff with him? Why Jesus never had the staff? His whole thing was walking. He was gliding on the water. Hey, nigga, that's how you get you in or you out. <sighs> Whoop your ass! Don't get in that bitch, nigga. I don't know. I'm I'm a definitely tr- I'm a definitely try to be like some monk before I die. <sighs> monk? Hell yeah! I'm gonna be a karate kicking patience. monk. You ain't got enough patience to be a monk. Yeah, my patience you has gone. Sit still. You can't remember shit. You break shit. You gonna be a monk. They have no faith in me. I've you, came this far. You be walking through the, the spot to sit the fuck down. Be knocking over shit. I have done that before. It's a damn meditation. You think you you so. you don't think I could be this this monk Taylor before I die? I I I'm trying to be too. I gotta be something. I gotta shave all this off. So if I have a good look as a monk before I am a monk, oh fuck, I'll be there before I'm him. Thank a you. Monk. A monk. Where we at, Taylor? Almost an hour. Shut. Want anything else? You want to cap it off? What else? We, I thought we had something else. Shit. It's Nick off. Oh. Kind of like back on Pilo. Strong ass elbow. Got clap again. Oh shit. We'll go ahead, Stride. Pilo over here interrupting up. That door fin up. We got a whole broken door in the podcast that needs to get fixed. We're, we got to go to Home Depot for this? Yeah. Got to buy a hinge. <sighs> oh, over the... over. Yeah, Paolo uncoordinated as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> my man, knock my, over my, 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 my man fell over that fence. That fence is hard to get over, no, man. No, bro, shut up. <laughs> that bitch is too... Only thing, else, only thing else <laughs> I really want to talk about is I got a great deal on Black Friday. If any of y'all was out Black Friday... Hey, and my here's here's my thing on Black Friday, y'all. I ain't know what the fuck to get. Here's my thing on Black Friday. Be smart. You see all these saving things. You you uh, what is the Fashion Nova had ninety nine percent off some uh stuff. Up to ninety percent. Up to ninety percent, bro. You out spending three hundred, four hundred dollars on shit, and then fucking rents around the corner. Oh, I got a mattress, bro, and I was looking the first tomorrow. I said, it's the first next week. Do I really need this mattress? I'm like, yup. I got the. I think it's already the first. Yeah, it's the first. Exactly. Black Friday was the other day, bro. It's. Imagine getting fucked. You spent eight hundred dollars on Black Friday, and then you forgot the rent around the corner. You spent a dollar or two months. That's fault. How do you forget? Well, I'm saying you see ninety percent off of Fashion Nova. You your hand might forget. Yo, you start grabbing shirts. Oh, three dollars, five dollars, seven dollars, eighteen. Ooh. Before you know it, you over one hundred fifty dollars over budget. 
if you check out and you, if you if you click check out in your cart and you know you ain't got it in the account, that's your fault. If you ain't got double to triple in your account for rent and whatever you buying, stop looking. Mm-hmm. And that's a very responsible thing. My uncle was pre- I have double for that rent. <laughs> My uncle was pressing me. He was like, "So what you doing? What you, what you want?" And I was like, I'm doing this podcast and I'm working. He's like, what you doing next year? I was like, shit, I'm going to start getting money for this podcast and then work my way up like with Cobblestone. And I was, he was like, you sure you don't have a degree or nothing? Like, you're going to have to do something. Like, you don't have, you have two or three more semesters. I was like, I'll be fine. I got rent paid for. I got, I'm good for like three or four months right now. He's like, oh. When I said that, that changed his whole idea of me because he knows I have three or four months of rent already cool for. So if a nigga go down, he's like, I don't have to ask help for nobody. He was shocked by that. He thought I was living check to check. I was like, hell no. What you mean? Yeah, it can never be off. No, I can't be check to check. Hell no. Especially especially all the ups and downs I've already been by myself and a relationship. It's like sometimes you got to pick up and sometimes you you don't want to also be in a a place where you got to ask for help with your uh, spouse and they also trying to work and get on shit. That's the the worst feeling you got to ask for $20 for fucking for gas, bro. And you could, and also because, so you need it. and because you also did it to yourself. That's the worst part. It's like, bro, I knew I should have not went out to eat, or I knew I should have just put my my uh, wallet down. I didn't have to do that with them. I could have just been chilling. <laughs> you got a crib, but you need to do it for real, bro. And it's like, bro, that shit's ugly as fuck. I don't know, bro. That's that's important. That's important. Having bread at least three or four months ahead, bro. I have a cushion. <sighs> but that I needed. A, I needed a bed. But I was scared though, cause rent was around the corner. Where'd you go? Uh, mattress firm or something? Right up. One more up. American Furniture Store. And guess who was there? The lady that can do the math the best. My mother. My mom was right there, and she was geeked as fuck. You made it sound like she worked there, nigga. No, <laughs> oh, she damn near. My mom, like, I didn't even know. This is this is a, this is a funny thing. Taylor was like, "Yeah, uh, I'm buying your mom." I was like, "Why?" She's like, "Cause we never did this. This like this is an adult purchase." You said. Yeah, I told him we're basically baby adults, so we mostly know what we're doing. But I just like a real adult to stand <laughs> over and like make sure nobody's fucking us, you know. <laughs> See, we had our mo- So they can tap in and be like, I did this before in my 20s. This is what you want to do instead. I'm trying to forego right. the mistake. Show me what to do. Right. Bro, my mom was feel it. geeked when she was at the she was at the front of the furniture. You want to get you some furniture, baby? I was like, ah, get the hell out of my face. <laughs> Fuck her. Mom was hyped for it. My mom, but she was. Small shit for moms get hyped for it. Love, right. My mom was hyped when she helped us with the, uh, remember when we tried to go to Vegas with the car? I was like, Mom, they ain't gonna let me go if I don't have no adult. She's like, oh, We were sure. really. She was all like, Mom, I need you on the dime right now. She said, oh, I got you. And then she and I was, I thought she was gonna be mad, but she pulled up with a grin because she knew I needed her help. I was like, Fuck. She's like, You know, you still need me. I was like, Oh, me. She was like, You think you're alone in this world, nigga? I was like, Oh, no, I'm always no. But she came around the corner, and was like, You know, you need me. I was like, Whatever. Just sign the shit off. Thank you, girl, bitch. But no, but it was, but it was That's cool. That's looking at you. No, it was, I, I didn't, I didn't think we needed, I didn't, we, I didn't think we needed her for the mattress, but we low key. Pray to God my mom was there. We got the same mattress as my mom. And every time I eat at my mom's house, I sleep on my mom's mattress. We win. We alley, she alley with us with the same mattress. Got the king mattress, man. Same mattress. Same mattress. Now, Taylor, Taylor was so, she acted like a kid. I had to hold myself because she was like, oh, we can get this bed. It could be me, you, Knox, everyone in the bed. I was like, yes. I was like, I was like, and the dog. I was looking at her like, Nas. I was like, Nas is not gonna be the best. No, 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 no. Yes, she will. Yes, she. I'm like, Nas is not gonna be in that bed. God behold, 
First night, we laying in the bed. The dog keeps on jumping off the bed. She don't give a fuck about the bed. And she's like, no, get off the bed. Get on trying to be cute. I said, let the dog be off the bed. It's a fucking dog. Let her sleep. She more mad that she trying to be on the bed. The dog is bigger than Taylor. That's another person, bro. Taylor, we want to have moments, man. Size, bro. Taylor, we want to have moments. And Knox, Knox be. Your own twin, bro. But no, but for real, in the afternoons, I was here in the afternoon. She was definitely in the bed laying with me. I was at the edge. She was cool. But nighttime, on the floor. Cut. Cut. I'm about to get a new system. I don't know. Xbox. Right. <laughs> Shut up. Since Call of Duty came out. I'm going to get me a new system. with you guys. I'm going to get on. I want to. No, bro. You're not ready, bro. I'm not saying y'all won't be better than me, but I want to have. I want to play. I want to play. You're not good. And I think the best thing about me is I can fucking make anyone mad, and I'll get you out your game, and I'll get you. I'll get a couple kills You're just like that. Don't tell me what I'm not built for. For this Call of Duty life, yeah. I'm about to flex. I'm not. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play for a no month kills. and not play with nobody, and then you gear won't up. Have no kids. Me and Capri are gonna play by ourselves, and we gonna get good, and then fuck with us, y'all. You won't have no kills. It's all good. Bro, you're not a gamer. You're not. I will be a gamer. I think I will do well. You can't just become a gamer in a month. No, I don't know. No, I'm gonna just buy myself rust, an activity, then get back. No. You're not, you're not coming hard. I'm not worried about you. What are you doing for the rest of the week? What's the big plans for you? Chilling. Trying to get my shit back. How's it looking? Haven't heard nothing. It's been holidays. Oh, Thanksgiving. Haven't been looking at the car. So now we're going to be back Monday. You're going to be pressed in. See what I can do. Get the car done, man. We want to see it. We want to see it on the road. Taylor, anything new with you? No, sir. Working as per usual. Working as per usual. Anything exciting that we can hear about you? Token's about to come out, goddamn. That's a funny episode. I was just there. You want to promote that with a smile? I'll do it for you. Fuck it. I was there for the last Token episode. It was great. I was. I learned a lot. If you don't know about the Cannibal Boys, how do you say, how do you say that? Cannabinoids. Yeah, all that. I make y'all. I make y'all so mad about the words. Make you want to be interested to see them. T- Taylor will say it right. It's token episode what five? Six. Six. I'm sorry. They're doing so many episodes. I'm I'm off by one. Go see that one. I thought it was really funny. Krista, what's, that? what's you doing? What's exciting with you? Not a damn thing. Man, everyone's not doing nothing exciting. Well, shit. Nigga, we ain't hear something. It's it's don't say that. Yeah, don't so say that. Bro, Arizona has no culture, no nothing, bro. It's just repetitive. Burgers, Mexican, and pizza. Bur- Same food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's your lifestyle? Burgers, Mexicans, and pizza? I'm like, how many Mexicans do you deal with? <laughs> Same food. No, I thought. It is getting grub. Ain't shit else to do besides eat. Babe. I thought he literally meant that's what he deals with everyday life. Burgers, Mexicans. <laughs> and what was the third? Pizza. Pizza. I'm like, in that order? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what I'm doing so excited, I get up and go to work. I'm liking the editing shit. It's making me feel better about uh, where we going. I'm learning every day with that. I read a book this week. Fuck everybody. I read now. I read the Gucci Man. Chapter one of his biography at Barnes and Nobles. Great fucking read. I didn't buy it. But I'm gonna buy it. It was a good read. The first chapter was good. You will like the book. Go read it. No, I don't know if I wanna read about Gucci. Well read something. Everyone should read. About Gucci. Well read something that excites you. I think everyone should read. It's good for your mind and good for your language. Thank you for everyone for watching.